we observe the weasel in his natural habitat. Oh dear. Oh. Oh dear. He seems to have an interest with snow. Where is he going? No one knows. Just hanging out, man. He has this habit of shoving his face right in the snow. Like burying it. <laughs> Alright, Diesel, let's go. Come here. Come on. Come over here. Oh boy, sit down. Come here. Sit down. Oh boy, you listen so much better today than yesterday. Did you learn a lesson? Oh, good boy. Well, I've got the freight unloaded, which means we got nothing left to do other than make a beeline straight home. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. It's been 20 days since I've been home, so this will be a, what was it again? 21, Humming and hawing here. I'm trying to figure out how long I've been on the road. It's going to be approximately just over 20 days that I've been on the road again. So, my last trip was 23 days. The trip before that was 25 days. And this trip will probably be about 21, 22 days. They're getting shorter. That's because of Christmas, though. I'd stay out if it wasn't for Christmas. But we got our uh, extended family Christmas on Saturday. No, Sunday. And my nephew's Christmas concert on Tuesday and I had to miss it last year so I'm not gonna miss it this year. Uh -huh. No, we'll be there. We'll be there. I, I remember the Christmas concerts when I was his age. He's a... Uh... Oh shoot. <laughs> He's a... Uh... Not quite 10 yet. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. When is he born? 8? No. 7. 6. Oh, my sister's duck could be happy. Sorry. I forget how old he is. Six or seven? He's in school. Grade two, right? Or is it grade one? Grade one or two? Why don't I know this? Oh, what kind of uncle am I? Oh, I'm a terrible uncle. Okay. Well, we're going to be doing some research uh, <laughs> this weekend and making sure we know. Seven! He just turned seven! I remember because of his birthday party and I made him a birthday card and it had sevens all over it. He's seven. I, I knew it. I knew that I knew it. I knew that I knew it. He's seven years old. And so I want to be there for his Christmas concert at his school. And that's next Tuesday. All right. Where to, Mandy? Go home. Go home, Mandy. I want to go home. Hurry up. Have a good day, Diesel. How you doing? How you doing over there? There's somebody by that van over there, man. It's the same, man. There's somebody over there. Maybe he's a friend. Everybody's a friend to you, Diesel. But then you scare them away. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that, Diesel? Who is it? <laughs> Come on. takes a little while when it's a long distance. You should see how long it takes when I have to go across the entire continent, because there's so many different routes that she has to analyze, right? Come on now. Come on now. Continue 300 meters, then turn left on Sackville Road. Sackville Road. All right, I could have thought of a better name for a road than that, but okay. 1,337 kilometers. Right up there in the corner. So, technically, well, if we were on a four lane divided freeway, we could make that in 13 hours. I'm allowed to drive 13 hours in Canada, right? We could do that. But, since we're in Northern Ontario, we gotta account for traffic. There's only two lane traffic, so there's not that much traffic, but when there's only two lanes, you're bound to get stuck behind someone who wants to do, you know, like 75 or 80 in a hundred zone. Uh, so slow pokes, you gotta account for that. You gotta account for weather. 
The weather outside is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Beautiful and gorgeous combined, making it gorgeous. For Northern Ontario, this is great. It's mild. It's only like minus 10 Celsius, which is about 15 Fahrenheit, so it's warm for these standards up here. And we got a clear shot home. This is gonna be a good day. We're gonna get very close to home. We might even get into the Manitoba, across the Manitoba border, maybe. Maybe just to Dryden. We might just make it to Dryden. I don't know where we'll make it, but either way, we're on our way home. It's Christmas. Christmas for me, anyway. I know it's not Christmas Day, but I've explained this to you. It's Christmas. We're going home for Christmas. Well, you know what I just figured out, guys? Mandy actually is taking us the wrong direction. She wants us to go through the United States. And we can't, because we have Canadian freight. We can't interstate, or we can't go through the states like that. They don't let us do that. Plus, the road up here would probably be better. I don't know. I don't know that road. But yeah, we got to actually go up there. So I've got to recalculate. It's probably a little further than we thought at first. Not a big deal, but let's recalculate this. So what I do now is I select a waypoint. Like I click on the highway there. Let's zoom in a bit. This GPS is kind of slow, but uh, it works. Okay, let's put a waypoint like up here. Click on the 17. Zoom in. Zoom right in there. Make sure we're actually clicked onto the 17. Like that, see? And then we'll say go, add to active route. I'm actually going to calculate the route to the waypoint. Which is a little quicker because it's not so far away. Continue 140 meters. Then turn left on Sack Miller Road. No trucks allowed. Oh yeah, the GPS has it wrong. I remember that's 251 kilometers. They think that there's no trucks allowed. Really, there's trucks allowed. It's we're gonna accept that. That's a mistake on the GPS's part. But we'll double check it when we get closer. So now it's gonna put the via distance. That's the distance to the the waypoint down here. That'll be 333. And then the actual distance once it calculates it up there. But it's got to calculate that first. So we'll see that in a bit. So it's not that much further going through Canada. You can see, I drove three kilometers because we're here at the, the Flying J card lock. Uh, so we, it's 330 kilometers to that waypoint that I pointed out. And then all the way to home is 1,378 kilometers. So it's not that far. That's, that would be a day's drive if we weren't in Northern Ontario. So I guess we'll see how far we make it. I just realized something. This is a sweet pickup truck. I'm parked right beside it and I didn't even see it. Let's go take a look at it. Oh, Diesel, you're gonna stay there. You're gonna stay there. I'm gonna take a look at this thing. Take a look at this baby. What? What? Look at those tires. Those are like tractor tires. Oh, I can't even get there because it's backed into the snow. Look at this thing. That's a monster. I found my pickup truck. Absolutely. I want to see what the back looks like. That is awesome. Looks like it's a MXT. That'd be really awkward if there was someone sitting in there. <laughs> this is an international MXT. If you're wondering what I want for Christmas, there it is.
Who's there? Who's there, Diesel? What are you looking at? I'm not looking at nothing, man. I'm just staring out into space. I do that all the time. So this is what your windows look like after driving through Northern Ontario. And British Columbia, it's the same thing. <laughs> anywhere, where, anywhere where there's a two-lane road. Just dirty. That's why our trucks are always so dirty, because it's impossible to keep the trucks clean driving through most of Canada in the wintertime. But we just stop here for a break. There goes some low bed driver or something, heavy duty, looks like. Looks like he's got a lot of snow on that thing. I wonder where he picked up all that snow at. It's been a gorgeous day all day. Look at this, still like hardly any clouds in the sky. Just that little hazy stuff over there. And that's about it. It's just been a beautiful day, been a perfect day. So, uh, oh, I'm putting, putting my shoes on here. If, uh, what was I gonna say? Well, we were worried about uh, that section between Saint, Sault Ste. Marie and Wawa, and it was just perfect. Dry highways the entire way. Once we got past Wawa, the highways got wet and dirty and salt trucks are everywhere. So that's why my truck is so dirty. But we don't mind a little dirt, do we, Diesel? We don't mind a little dirt. So we're just at the Husky. I know you can't really see it, but it's a little tiny Husky. I need to stop to get something to eat or make something to eat or whatever's gonna happen. I know there's a Robin's Donuts across the street over there yet. I know it's not Timmy's, but they got donuts. Just going through Marathon, Ontario. Marathon, like you're running a marathon. Those clouds don't look too friendly over there. What in the world? No! Hey! We've been having a gorgeous day so far. I do not need those clouds in front. Those look like snow clouds to me. They're very low, they're very dark. Well, their altitude I don't think has anything to do with it, but I mean they're very dark. They look like they got a lot of moisture in them. I don't want any moisture. I've been enjoying this beautiful sunshine. Maybe they're just clouds. Maybe they're not precipitating. Maybe they're not leaking. I don't like clouds that leak. Well, I don't mind the rain. I just don't mind them. I don't like them snowing. Look how nice it looks after it snows though, eh? Like all of this uh, scenery around here is just beautiful. Wait till I'm home. There should be like a designated time, like a designated day of the week that that's the precipitation day, so we're all expecting it. We'll be, we'll say like Tuesday. Everybody knows Tuesday it's gonna rain or snow. That'd be great. All the other days of the week are sunny and gorgeous. But everybody knows on Tuesday to expect snow or rain. That's how it should be, I think. Maybe one day. Can you imagine if we ever developed a technology that we could manipulate the weather? <laughs> you know that that's going to be manipulated in itself to be a weapon, right? Of course the military is going to grab that and start like sending thunderstorms and snowstorms at the enemy. It would be an amazing weapon. Bury them under 8 feet of snow. They're not going to do nothing. Or start a lightning storm and let the lightning zap them all. It'd be terrible. I'm talking about using it for good things, like actually controlling the weather. I think that we would destroy the Earth if we did that. <laughs> I think the Earth has got a natural system of keeping itself going, and if we mess with that, we're just gonna kill everything. My ears are popping. Are we getting higher or something? Suddenly everything got really quiet. I feel like I gotta yell at you guys. Am I yelling? Oh, you gotta yawn. Everybody yawn. Oh, it helped. Oh, thank you. Oh. That was good. That's the only thing I can unpop my ears is if I yawn.
we made it to Ignis, Ontario. Ignis, Ignas. We've been here many times, actually. I've vlogged here many times, uh, but it's a little bit different outside now. I know you can't really see it. It's dark. You gotta trust me, there's snow everywhere. It's just snow. Last time we were here, it was still all green. Wasn't it diesel? Hey, you good boy. You remember that? Of course you do. He just went for his run. I gotta let him off leash here because there's not too many people around here. Anyways, guys, that was the vlog for today. Lots of scenery. It was a beautiful day. I hope tomorrow's just as beautiful. I hope it's a gorgeous times two kind of day because we're getting home tomorrow and we're really excited about it. Thank God. Oh, and we're going to be home for a while. Got a whole bunch of stuff planned. It's going to be fun. Anyways, we'll see you tomorrow. Anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time, tomorrow's vlog will be live for your eyeballs to watch. If you go down below to the description, if you're new to the videos, there's links to past videos. You can see what I've been up to over the past year. You can catch up on a few things, get to know me a little better, and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to leave a comment down below so I can get to know you a little better as well. See you tomorrow.